In our last video, we talked about where different agricultural crops originated from and the first agricultural revolution. Today, we explore the second agricultural revolution and how it changed the world. Remember, agriculture is the deliberate modification of the Earth's surface through cultivation of plants and rearing of animals to obtain sustenance or economic gain. Essentially, agriculture is focused on either growing or producing food to support an individual or for sale to make money. The first agricultural revolution, also known as the Neolithic Revolution allowed for complex societies to emerge. This was due to the fact that society could now have a food surplus and no longer needed everyone to hunt or gather food, resulting in specialization. But it wasn't until the Second Agricultural Revolution when society saw the next major advancement in agriculture. We can see that the Second Agricultural Revolution has its roots in Great Britain, thanks to the Industrial Revolution, which led to a flood of new inventions and ways to produce different products. Inventions such as the cotton gin, the seed drill, the steel plow, grain elevators, and the McCormick Reaper Harvester all increased agricultural output. During this time, we also saw the enclosure movement occur as well. This was when land that was originally communally owned by people of a settlement became privately owned. Before the enclosure movement, it was common for people to grow crops and bring animals for grazing to public land. However, people discovered that by having individuals own the land, it allowed for individuals to be more efficient on how they grow and and raise crops and animals. This increased the amount of food and agricultural products that were being produced. Individuals who owned the land now had a direct incentive to maximize their efficiency and protect their land, since they directly benefited from the increased efficiency, and destroying the land would hurt their future growth. All of this, the Industrial Revolution, the Second Agricultural Revolution, and the Enclosure Movement transformed society forever. More and more people started migrating to urban areas in search of work in newly formed factories. Farms started to produce more food than ever before, which allowed for more specialization to occur. And society started to see a population boom as they transitioned into stage two of the demographic transition model. During this time, we also started to see people's diets change as the amount of calories that people consumed significantly increased. This was due partially to new foods that were diffusing around the world and also due to the new food surplus that was created thanks to these technological advancements and agricultural practices. As advancements in transportation and agriculture continued, states around the world became more connected to different states, which allowed for more trade and production to occur. Overall, we can see that the Industrial Revolution allowed for a greater food surplus, which allowed individuals to have better diets, longer life expectancies, and less of a need for individuals to work in agriculture, which meant more people could work in other industries, leading to economic growth around the world. All right, and there you have it. That was just a quick look at the second agricultural revolution. Now comes the time to practice what we've learned. Answer the questions on the screen and when you're done, check your answers in the comment section down below. Also, if you found value in this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my ultimate review packet for more help with your AP Human Geography studies. As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time online.